Right then guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the time machine. It's obviously a gimmick of some sort. I will show you what you're gonna need. Now I legitimately, Gaff has got a lot of cards, but can I find a blue box to go with a blue deck or can I find a red deck to go with a red deck? Because I'm always cutting up cards. I would even say this deck is a mix up of, I wouldn't even say a full deck, there's probably many duplicates. Well, there's two aces of hearts up for an instance. So I do find it hard to find regular cards. So the color of the box is irrelevant. It has nothing to do with the trick itself, but you are going to need a blank faced whatever card and a gimmick card. This is a card with a hole in it. Now it is red on this side. That's purely because this is going to attach to the bottom of the box and it's going to be disguised. If this was a blue deck and a blue box, this would be a blue gimmick. Now I did not show you the bottom of the box, so it didn't matter that it was red. But um, there are a few tricks in the past. When you have a card on the bottom, you're going to slide this card off and then pull out the card underneath. I find that quite awkward to do. So I thought if I've got a card with a hole in it, it's easy to push this through the hole, grab it and then pull it out without thinking I've got to slide this gimmick down as well. So obviously I've got a couple of magnets in the box. This is going to attract to the box and I'm going to be able to seemingly pull out a card out of the deck. Now also this is a blank card and on the inside of the box, just on this bit of the tab, I've got some restickable glue. So when this gimmick, this card goes in and it's down this way, if I apply a little bit of pressure, that card will stick to the box so you can momentarily flash the inside of the box. You've got something going on here, but to the untrained eye, you know, guys that don't use the cards a lot, they're not going to really notice anything, I hope. So you've got a bit of restickable glue here and a magnetic bottom of the box gaff, whatever you want to call it. How the trick starts is, I'm going to have this on the bottom remembering the orientation. Now I found it to be easier with this on the top. So this is going to go blue side up on the bottom because at some point I'm going to deposit that onto the box and I need, sorry, it's going to go red side up on the bottom. That's it, because at some point I'm going to deposit that gimmick on the box. So you've got your gimmick, it's going to be blue side down or it's going to be double blue. I'm just confusing you because I've got a different coloured box. In fact, it's not going to be blue side down, it's going to be blue side up, isn't it? Is it? I'm confusing myself now. Let's work it out. At some point that is going to be on the top, so I need to dump it. So it's going to be blue side down so I can dump it, transport it here. So it is blue side down. I'm confusing everybody, aren't I? And this card is going to go somewhere into the pack. This is all going to go into a blue box. But, you know, this is a Gaft Academy and I do do a lot of cock-ups. So, right, this is a time machine. Um, I'm going to take out your card at the beginning because this is a time machine after all. So all you're going to do, to spectator, they're going to be seeing this. So don't flash that hole. You're going to go through and you're going to say, right, I'm going to take out your card, but all you're looking for is that blank card, which is here. You're going to take out what they think is a regular card and you are going to put it into the box, remembering it needs to go in this way because at some point it's going to be stuck this way. There was one eagle-eyed guy on the comments who noticed the card switched over. So you're going to place their card into the box, do the box up, Remembering to keep it this way up. Remembering also the orientation of your hole. And now they've got a completely free choice to pick any card. What's that one doing in there? Get rid of that. See what I mean with my cards. They've got a free choice. Let's say they have this card. In fact, it is a free choice, but this is the card you were going to choose because this is a time machine. You could get them to sign this card if they want. While they're signing this card, get yourself a little break under this card and then swing cut this card to the middle and hot keep that break. So you've got their card right here and you're holding a break on the back. They're gonna sign this card, you're gonna take this card, seemingly pushing it somewhere into the middle 
It is going in the middle, but it's just going directly above the gimmick card. So you're going to push that in, push down, and then double undercut it to the top if you want. So what's happened is now this is their signed card, and it's covering the gimmick. Right, we're going to go back to the box now. Remember I did put a card in the box at the beginning. You can hear it rattling around inside. Obviously the gimmick stuck to this now and their card is here. So all you're going to do to the spectator, to them, it looks like you're going to open up the box. As you reach inside, just apply a little pressure on this card so it will stick. But you can also grab hold of this card and slide it up through the gap. Get it to this point and then just pull it out. What I would say is have your fingers around the box so you can keep this card as it comes out square. You won't want it to come out like this and they'll notice it. So maybe angle it down, get it going and then just pull it out quickly. Now at this point you could flash the bottom of the box if you want and show that, that making sure that card is stuck. You could flash the box, you could flash the bottom. Just making sure that this card is stuck to your little bit of double stick glue or whatever you've got in there. I just did a little flash like this so they could see there's no card. And believe it or not, the card in the box at the beginning was their signed Seven of Clubs. Now I have noticed this box has got a bit of a, a shine to it. So this isn't the same sort of colour as this card. So if you're going to make this gimmick a little bit better, maybe you'd use the bottom of the box to make the gimmick so it would match the colour, like there's a bit of shine to it. I do hope that's clear enough guys, I'm waffling on a little bit, I've had a little drink, you know what I'm saying? It is late as well. So it's just a gimmick like this, you don't even need to put this hole in it, I've just put that in because if that hole's not there you've got to glide this back and sometimes what i found is if you've got a card here and you glide this, it, this card seems to go with it. So having this little hole, it just means you can just get it going and then pull it out. So comment, subscribe, like guys, and I do hope that tutorial was clear enough. And yes, Gaffer's cards are a right mess. Cheers.